good morning students again we are back and this time we are dealing with another question related to the question we have done previously when the object covers at certain distance with equal half of journey with velocity v1 and v2 and we calculated the average velocity now i have given you another question similar to that but in this question the journey is covered in three equal parts with velocity v1 v2 and v3 respectively you have to calculate the average velocity now this question is homework for you i will only give you a hint how to do the question and you have to tell me the answer theek hai kya hai the journey is completed in three equal parts suppose this is point a and this is point b Divided into three equal halves. Suppose this is a point C, and this is a point D. Just suppose the total distance taken. Now, how much is it? Three x. So distance from A to C will be x. Distance from C to D will also be x, and distance from D to B or D to B is also x. Now we will take Velocity for this period is v1, for c to d is v2, for d to b is v3. Time taken from a to c is t1. Time taken from c to d is t2. Time taken from d to b is t3. Now you have to calculate the average velocity. V average. Apply the formula total distance travelled upon total time taken, and you will get the answer. I hope you will be able to do it, and I'll try it once. नहीं बनेगा तो I will tell you. Okay, try it. See students how to do it. Again, total distance will be three x. Total time is t one plus t two plus t three. Again, this will become three x upon. Now, what is the formula of time? Distance upon speed. Distance is x by v one. T two will be x by v two. T three will be x by v three. Take the LCM. V average is equal to three x will remain three x divided by. I have told you when all are variables and all are different, multiply them. That is the LCM. LCM will be v1, v2, v3. V1 and v1 will cancel. What is left? V2, v3. This v2, v3 will get multiplied to x. So what will happen? X, v2, v3. Now I am writing directly. Okay? V2 and v2 will get cancelled. X, v1, v3. V3 and V3 will get get cancelled. X V1 V2. I hope it is clear to you. Again, what is the common term in all of them? X. This part lies in the denominator of the denominator. This will go up. So what I will get? 3 X V1 V2 V3 divided by Now I am writing them in order, and what else can I take? I can take x as common. X is sabi me common hai. I am writing them in order: v1, v2, plus v2, v3, plus v3, v1. X and x will cancel. So what is the final answer? The final answer is three v1, v2, v3. Upon v1 v2 plus v2 v3 plus v3 v1. This is the average velocity when the object covers a certain distance in three equal parts with velocity v1 v2 and v3. I hope it is clear to you and I hope you have done it correctly.